Hi, my dear fitness friends. Today we have our 2023 best sets of April workout to do. For this workout, what I did is I went back through the workouts that I recorded in April and I picked out some of my favorite sets, mashed them all together, and made a nice big full body workout for us to do today. It's not going to be big. It's going to go quick. It's going to be fast. It's going to be fun. And you will really enjoy it. There's reps. There's hit. We'll be using our dumbbells, our barbell, our kettlebell. I'm also going to be using my BOSU for bridges for one set. If you don't have a BOSU, no big deal. You can put your back against your bench or anything else that you typically do, or you can do your bridges right on the floor with a sandbag or dumbbells. All right, I have a three minute, as many rounds as possible, warm up to do. If you need more than that, as always, push pause and then come back and join me for the workout. And I will see you on the mat in just a minute. All right, you guys, I am ready to hit start on this three minute, as many rounds as possible warm up. It will beep every minute on the minute just to let us know where we're at. I'm gonna hit 10 second countdown. We're doing a walk out push up into runner's lunge to start it off. Nice deep inhale up. Two, one. That's our beep. So walk it out. Nice tall plank. Get a push up. Get all the creaks and cracks out. Start to move your body with intention, with strength. Two runners lunge here. Stay in your high plank. We're gonna command up, up, no, we're gonna go down dog. <laughs> Get a glute raise and a knee tuck to your nose. We're gonna do four of these. So one, two, three, Four. Come back into your high plank. Go into a T-stand. Have your feet staggered. Arm up. We're going to cactus this arm and bend our knees. We're going to get two on each side. One. Two. Get the other side. Nice big side plank. Cactus that arm. Open it up. One. Two. Walk it back. We are going to do six pop squats before we repeat that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice deep inhale. Forward fold, walk it out to your high plank. Push up into runner's lunge, stretches here. Breathing. Acknowledging that you came here today, that you got to hit start, you carved out this time for yourself. Pushing back into a down dog, glute raise with knee tucks for four. One. Two, you have one minute left in your warm up. Three. Four. Come into a high plank again, get into your T-stand. We're going to stagger our feet. Arm comes up, cactus the arm and bend your knees for two. One, two, other side. One, two, walk it back. Six pop squats to finish off this warm up or Give attention to any body part that you feel like needs a little more attention right now. I'm just going to stay here for 10 seconds. Pop squatting. Three, two, and one. Okay. We're starting off with a five minute, every minute on the minute. Six reps is what we're going for. It's six chest presses, six alternating chest presses, which we will go fast. It'll be a motion like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, almost like punches. Six narrow chest press, drop one weight, and six pullovers. Any remaining time in that minute is rest. This is going to fly by, and it was going to, going to be a good challenge. I'm going with 25s. Remember, we, these are all sets that we have done before. <laughs> you may not have done it before if you don't do if you aren't on Patreon, but I'm giving you a chance to do it now. Alright, we have five minutes on the clock. 
going for speed, but keeping your form. If you need to reduce your weight to keep your form, go for it. If you need to reduce weight reps to keep your form, do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alternating. One, two, three, four, five, six. Narrow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Drop one weight. Pull over for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have 20 seconds rest. This is one of those imams that you usually end up having less time as you go through this because the fatigue starts to set in for your chest. We're gonna go again in 10 seconds, so grab your other weight on your back. Load it up, six chest presses at the beep, right into your alternating. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Narrow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Drop one weight, pullovers. One, two, three, four, five, six. 17 seconds rest this round. Stay right here. Put your arms up above your head. <laughs> Get a little side bend on your back here. We go again in five seconds. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Alternating, one, two, three, four, five, six. I missed one chest press, so I'm doing it now. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, pullovers. One, two, three, four, five, six. 20 seconds rest. How are you doing? <laughs> Do you need to stretch out that chest? Use your remaining time. Get your life together. <laughs> We go again in 10 seconds. You only go through this two more times. That's it. We go in five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alternating. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close chest. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Drop one, pull over. One, two, three, four, five, six. One final round. We go in 15 seconds. I'm feeling just like you. <laughs> Load them up. Kick them up. We start in five. Six chest presses. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Narrow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fighting for it. Six pullovers. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have 
15 seconds before the end. <laughs> Amazing job. That, by the way, I found on a Peloton upper body workout that said, it's spicy. <laughs> okay, we are moving straight into our Tabata bridge set. So, I'm gonna use my Bosu. Feel free to use a bench and do hip thrusts. Feel free to use dumbbells and keep your back on the ground. Use whatever equipment that you have today to challenge yourself. I'm just gonna set my Bosu up here and go with my barbell. Always take the time to change equipment, to use your entire space, setting up and breaking things down, like adding plates, is active recovery. All right, I'm ready to hit start on this Tabata. We are doing regular Bosu bridges and pairing it with a Bosu bridge with a pulse. So hitting start, you have a 10 second countdown. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Four times each Three, move. Two, one. Regular bridges first. So we go from our chest right to our glutes. <laughs> We have bridges with a pulse. A little bit extra time under tension with this pulse. Right. 
Nice job. Roll that bar off of you. Okay, we are moving into our weighted burpee set. This is, stand up. This is a weighted burpee set that's a five by five. In between each round of our five by five, we are gonna do 60 seconds of a core move, okay? So you get some active recovery with that core work. Our weighted burpee moves are burpee dumbbell squat, burpee front raise, weighted decline burpees, and reverse grip burpee bicep curl, okay? So I'm going to be going with 40s for my burpee squats, 12s for the burpee front raises, 12s for the decline burpee, and 12s for the reverse grip bicep curl, okay? For the decline burpee, um, I'm gonna jump with my weights down low, all right? Just to give you a heads up. So grab your equipment, set yourself up for success in this set. And we're gonna get started. Counting out these reps. can only do one rep at a time. <laughs> Make them all count. Nice full push-ups for each one. Let's go, get it started. One. Two. Raise for five. Let's go. Stand up tall, straight, tucked, tailbone, one. No arch in your back. Two. I'm doing a hammer style front raise. Three. Climb burpee. I'm using my low bench here. Be exact with your feet. One. Two. Three. Four. Reverse grip, bicep curl. One, controlling the negative. Two. Three. challenge move is chops. I'm going to do them kneeling. We'll get 30 seconds per side. I'm going to go with a 25 for that. I will tell you when to switch sides. Don't worry about it. I got you. I think you start right now. You have a 10 second countdown. So get on your knee. Put that weight above the shoulder. Two, of the knee that's one. up. Chop it down, nice and controlled, anti-rotation. <sighs> 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 
Use your breath. We're switching sides in five seconds. Three, two, one, switch sides. Opposite knee, opposite shoulder gets the weight. Have you started to sweat yet? Feeling strong, feeling competent. You are in charge here. This is your time and space. All right, back to the top. Burpee dumbbell squats for five. This is you putting in the work, putting in the time, putting in the effort, knowing that you deserve it. One. Two. Three. Four. Burpee front raises. Stand up tall. No rocking, no swinging. One. Two. Three. Reverse grip, bicep curl. One. Two. Three. at my chin. We start in 10 seconds. On your back, legs out straight in front of the wheel. Two, one. Hold that weight right under your chin, right at your chest. Curl all the way up. C shape all the way down. Pulling that core in tight. When you sit up at the top, get all the way up to the very top of those sits bones before you start to curve in to go back down. Nice work. So right now you guys are thinking, wait a minute. You've done this set before. Siri, you're really not helping. <laughs> you guys are thinking, well, I chose to do this set again. I called this one of the best sets of April. I remember it being really challenging. I'm gonna bring you the challenge and actually, this will be the, probably, I think I took this set from an old school workout that I did for Patreon, which means I scrolled back and I picked an old school workout and I repeated it. So this is probably the third time I've done this set, maybe fourth. <laughs> back to our burpee dumbbell spots. Get drinks as you need them. 
You have a pause button if you need them. This is round three. We don't talk about round threes, we just do it. One. Two. Climb burpee. Let's get it. One. Two. Three. Four. Reverse grip, bicep curl. One. Two. sides at 30 seconds and I'm going to go with I'm going to go with the 25 so on your knees again same hand holds a weight as the knee that is up we're pressing up and coming down with our opposite hand 10 second countdown is on you're only here for 30 seconds per side and load that weight up to your shoulder Press it up, hand comes down. Straight, exact lines. Use your breath. Keep that core tight. Supportive and strong. You're here for 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, switch sides, load it up. You guys, all we have left in this five by five is rounds four and five. You line it up and you knock them down one rep at a time. Being precise, being exact, like the athlete you are. Let's go, burpee, squat. Full push up, flat back. Squatting to stand, squatting to set it down. That's one. Two. Burby 
the front raise. No, I'm not adding four and five together. You're welcome. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Declines. One. Two. Reverse grip, bicep curls. One. Two. Three. under, dip, and leg lift. <laughs> I'm going body weight, but you certainly can hold dumbbells for this if you want. It's really up to you. So high plank position. One. Go into your T-stand, get a dip, get a reach under, get a leg lift. Opposite side. Smooth and strong. Straight lines in your T-stand. Hips are facing forward. You made it. We have one more round in this five by five. Five. 
declines. One. Reverse grip, bicep curl, finish this off. One. Two. Last 60 second challenge move in this set is a twist and press windmill. So 30 seconds per side. Hitting start right now. 10 second countdown is on. I'm going with a 20. So, load it up. Windmill stance. You're going to come down, bring your elbow to your opposite knee, and press the stand. out behind you in that mini squat. 10 seconds here. Then we switch sides. And switch. Clean and press it up. Be exact with how you made your weight, weight yourself, how you load your weights up, how you move things around. cruising here. We have two more sets left. All we have is a six minute as many rounds as possible and a combination move finisher where guess what? There's more burpees. <laughs> okay, six minute AM wrap. We're doing eight reps per move. We have standing chops. So if the earth did kneeling chops, same thing, but we're standing for them. So we'll do eight per side. Plank pull throughs using whatever you want. I'm going to go with my sandbag. You certainly can use a dumbbell for it. Kettlebell swings, and then an alternating single arm snatch. So one equals one for those alternating snatches. And I'm going to go with a 30 for that today. Sandbag for the pull throughs, and my 60 pound kettlebell for the swings. Set yourself up for success by setting up your area so that you can go through this as smoothly as possible. Standing chops, I'm gonna go with 25. Okay, so remember it's as many rounds as possible. If you need more breaks, you take more breaks. If you are faster than me, you go faster than me. <laughs> I'm still gonna count out our reps. We have six minutes on the clock and a 10 second countdown started now. So grab that dumbbell, side which side you're starting on. Two, one. Controlling your weight, anti-rotation. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch your sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. High plank position. I'm using my sandbag using the opposite hand to pull it through to the other side. Again, anti-rotation. One. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was a really fast minute, wasn't it? We have eight kettlebell swings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So down, alternating single arm snatches, eight reps. One, bend your knees. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we are back to the top. Standing chops, we are two minutes in. Get it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, hand, the weight that the side of the weight is on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you got swings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alternating snatches. Power move. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, back to the top. See if we can make it through one more time. Chops. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Switching sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plank pull throughs. These are really hard. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight swings. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Eight snatches. Finish it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, there's three seconds left. That was awesome. I love that set. I love the variety. I love that it's full body. I love that it's a really sneaky core. I would repeat that one again. Not today. <laughs> Another day. Okay, we're at our finisher. This finisher comes from an upper body and burpees workout. So if you're familiar with them, you know that we do 10 competition burpees to start. And we do it in between each of the combination moves. Five reps to one reps combination move is deadlift and power clean. Then we do four to one power clean and box squats. And then three to one box squats and bent rows. Okay, so I'm going with my barbell. Choose whatever equipment you would like to use today. All right, I'm all set up. I have my barbell back down to 75 pounds. I'll let you know that so you know what I'm working with. Not at all. Suggestion for you, okay? So let's go 10 competition burpees to start it off. Belly to the mat, jump it up. One, two, three, four, five, straight up your body. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to do hang power clean, so starting at your waist, power clean up for five. One, two, three, four, five. Take out your grip. Four deadlifts, four power cleans. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three deadlifts, three power cleans. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two deadlifts, two power cleans. One, two. One, two. One and one. Separate the moves, one deadlift, one power clean. Set it down. Shake out your grip. 10 competition burpees. One. when we need it. We have four power cleans and 
four box squats. So make sure your box is exactly where it needs to be. Shoulders down the back, chest open and strong. Four power planes. One, two, three, four. Four box squats. One, two, three, four. Double down, shake it out. Three and three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two and two, you're almost there. One, two. One, two. One and one. All right, 10 competition burpees. Yes, you can, don't stop now. One.
I'm stepping. Lower down slowly. Press all the way back up. Drop to your knees. Hold this child's pose. Can you get your breath going just through your nose? Come all the way through to up dog and down dog. Right leg comes up, knee to elbow, back up, knee to opposite elbow, cast that foot under, lift your left arm up, get a nice little fall on triangle here, we'll hold it. Then we're going to do a little funky transfer over, left hand comes back down, right leg comes back up, open your knee, Maybe roll out your ankle, come into a rock star, a little mini half back bend. Squirrel your right arm back down. Bring that right knee to your nose, step through. Open up into warrior two, which is where we'll hold. I'm gonna do my really best to remember exactly what we did for the other side. <laughs> come on, hop your foot up a little bit. We're gonna go into half moon. Slowly lower, get that foot back down, reverse warrior, and single leg chaturanga. Hold it, I know, I'm sorry. You've done a lot of push-ups and you can do more. This is only a 10 second hold. It was not on purpose. <laughs> up dog and down dog, left leg comes up. Knee to elbow, back up. Knee to opposite elbow, cast that foot under, come into fallen triangle. Right hand comes back down, left leg comes back up, open it up, hold here in the open. Roll your ankle out if you need to find some movement. We're going to go into that little rock star mini half bend again. Bring your left hand back down. Left leg comes all the way through. Open up into your warrior. We're gonna hop up a little bit, get into a half moon. Hold your half moon for 10 seconds. Slowly lower that foot back down, gracefully as you can. Reverse your warrior. And come back down for a single leg chaturanga. Up dog and down dog. Pedal out your feet here, hold your down dog. Creaks and cracks, get them all out. Hop your feet to your hands, chair pose, stand up tall. Little back bend, hands through heart center, forward fold, flat back, chaturanga, find your up dog, go into down dog, drop to your knees, and find your child's pose. This is your final 10 seconds. Put your head against the mat. Rock it back and forth, massage your forehead with your mat. Think about all of the hard work you put in today. Think about all those feel-good endorphins that you have flowing out your body, throughout your body right now. If you made any modifications, changes, adaptations, equipment choices differently than me, applaud yourself. You did that with authority. You did it to make it your workout, to make it enjoyable for you. I love you so much. I will see you at the next workout.